Okay, I'm going into this song knowing that it's really made for kids. So I'm gonna just kind of like wash my brain, made for kids. Let's sing something, la la la. Okay, I'm going into this song knowing that it's really designed for kids. So like, hey, right? wake up, wake up, wake up. What? Oh my God, hey, he's in our hair. not heard that scuttlebutt? Your no, the gossip, the buzz, the who said what, who does that, yeah, the scuttlebutt. Well, I was flying over land and sea and ear to the ground. Then I came flying here for you to see and hear what I found. Already we can tell this is a Lin-Manuel Miranda song because I've done a ton of stuff by Lin-Manuel and this is his style. The rapping kind of fast movement, hey, 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 kind of thing. This seems like his style. And I know that they're trying Trying to start a word with Scuttlebutt, but okay, here's the thing, you guys. I did a full album reaction. I didn't like this song. I felt it was annoying. I felt it was obnoxious. I felt it was not at the same level of excellence as all of the other songs. And I also felt that I didn't like Wild Uncharted Waters. But later on, I watched the screen and I ended up falling in love with it. I ended up really, really liking it. And I will be sure to link that in the playlist down below. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna start it over and I'm hoping that I will find a reason to like this song because I want to like it. Just didn't like it. So let's see if maybe I can like it. Beautiful scream. Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. What? I love that hey, he's in her hair though. Heard that scuttle, no, but. no, the gossip, the buzz, the who said what, who does that, yeah, the scuttlebutt. Well, I was flying over land and sea and ear to the ground. Then I came flying here for you to see and hear what I found. Remember the swamp? Remember my song in the swamp? And I was like, wham, chick a wham, wham, chick a wham, I remember. Right? I would put the pillow over my head. <laughs> But we had, we had Scuttle was always like wah, wah, wah. And I loved that part of that character. As a kid, I thought it was like the funniest thing ever. So, you know, maybe it's cause I'm old now. I'm old, I'm crotchety and I'm old and I'm cranky. Ever since the what's his name, the guy with the hair and the shirt. The prince. Yeah, the prince has been dropping hints. He wants to, you know when humans dress all nice like they're penguins, throw rice for the pigeons. They're trying to blow up the pigeons, but what? those are just urban legends. I know a lot of really fat Scuttle. Will you what? just listen, Sebastian? I got that. What is he talking about? Or she talking about? Something about pigeons and fat and so what, what the hell was that? Is this like a ADD thing? Like you're just all over the place, right? Has been dropping his. He wants to. You know when humans dress all nice like they're penguins, throw rice for the pigeons. They're trying to blow up the pigeons, but those are just urban legends. I know a lot of really fat pigeons. Go oh. He's talking about a wedding. Oh. I get it. I feel smart now. I feel smart that I got it. I had to really, really listen in. He's talking about, you know, when people dress up like the pigeons meeting as they wear suits and that they throw rice because it's a wedding. They used to throw rice at weddings. That's what he's talking about. He's saying that there's a wedding coming. Will well, you just listen, Sebastian? I got that scuttlebutt. Hurry up. You'll be like, what? When I drop that scuttlebutt. Okay, now how oh. to love that. From the women who wash all the clothes to the hunter who arrows the bows, the chatter all over the palace is that your prince Eric is gonna propose. Yeah, there you go. Knows. They're saying he suddenly chose. Ooh. Who? He's selling an owl. Owl. Bet it's the kid with the new set of toes. The kid with the oh, because she's a kid with a new set of toes. Okay. I feel like I'm having to just like pick this whole thing apart. So as a kid, I think this would be fun. Now, is that her normal voice? Is that her regular spit? It kind of, I know you guys didn't like it, but I said it kind of reminded me of Miley Cyrus because there was a big point in, in her talking career where she kind of like had this voice when she was younger. And uh, I thought it kind of sounded like her, but this isn't her. This isn't Miley Cyrus, right? This is some other chick. Hang on, hang on. Aqu oh, there, this is Aquafina. Uh, Aquafina talking. A monologue. There we go. And if you don't know me, I'm just your average Asian trumpet player turned rapper turned act. Whoa. Her speaking voice does have that rasp. I don't know why she's placing it back here. I've had students come in, and it usually means that they have acid reflux. And so at nighttime, the acid is kind of deteriorating the vocal cords, and it causes them to become inflamed. And then when they're rubbing for vibration, when they're making the sound, it doesn't rub the same, and so it kind of has that hazy, um, agitated sound. Oh, yeah. What's up, Montana? What would you 
like to give? I'd like to give you singing lessons. Just heard your new single. Ouch. Well, I just heard yours and I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, she's got that really? same kind of back yeah. place. My brother ate some bad catfish, so we played it for him to induce vomiting. It was like, bam! Insta puke. Who am I watching? Has been, never was, bottle blonde, lip sinker, raw stuffer. Oh! What the hell? I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. Anyways, whatever. There's Audrey's tangent. Oh, yes. Anything goes. Who'd ever guess? There's a little bit of that Miley in there, the race and the dress and the what do you call it? The thing with the lips when they press. I don't have lips. I have a beak, so I guess I could give you a peck on the cheek. I don't believe it. <laughs> Say, you're awfully quiet. Oh, yeah. Oh, my so, God. So, uh, what now? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh. Can you believe okay. this cattle bite? Get dressed, child. You're welcome for the scuttlebutt. We got a lot of work to do before sundown. This, 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 hey. Oh, please let this be the day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got it. The gossip. Oh, the buzz. Oh, oh. <laughs> they are cute together, though. Mm. Little booties. That was super cute. If you love Little Mermaid, by the way, then you need to come on over to my Patreon. Because we are watching, we've watched the first one. The second one, we're watching the third one, we're watching the live when it comes out, all with the screen and volume. We also have the full album reaction, unedited, raw, right there for you. Um, we have behind the scenes extra stuff. We also have on top of that, weekly watch parties for Once Upon a Time, Glee, High School Musical, the musical, the series. We have tons of Disney themed movies as well, like Moana, coming up as Tangled. There's just so much on there. It's five bucks a month. So I will be sure to link that down below. Get dressed, child. You're welcome for the scuttlebutt. We got a lot of work to do before so go. This, 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 this scuttlebutt, hey. Oh, please let this be the day. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. This. We got it, the gossip, okay, the buzz. Now who said but who does that? Okay. Yeah, I told you so. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta go before the sun go oh. down. Well, gotta get her ready for the big showdown. Right, go ahead and get her ready for the big showdown. Yeah, throw the blanket on over and move on, honey. <laughs>